Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this new Ego mower. It's a 22 inch aluminum deck select cut self propelled lawnmower. Alright, so here it is the new select cut 22 inch mower with the aluminum deck. In this video, I'm going to go over the specs of this new mower and show you what's new on this model compared with last year's model, the Speed IQ, which I also reviewed on my channel. Then we're gonna put it through some tests. Here's some of the detailed specs on the back of the box, and then we've got the most important points on the front. So of course it has a cast aluminum deck. It has 11.1 foot-pounds of torque. It comes with the touch drive self-propel system. It gets approximately 70 minutes of runtime on speed mode one, we'll test that. Comes with the mower, a 10 amp hour battery, 700 watt turbocharger, and the high performance blade set. It's a model LM2206SP. In all transparency, Ego did send me this mower to test out, but I'm going to put it through some real tests and be honest with you about the results and be honest about my thoughts on it, just like I always am on this channel. Now let's get this box open and we'll see what's all in here. So here's everything it comes with. You've got the 700 watt turbocharger, the 10 amp hour battery. Of course, you got the mower with the cast aluminum deck, got the grass catcher frame and bag. It comes with two mulching blades, and then of course, you've got that top blade that stays installed at all times as part of that select cut system. So the battery it comes with is a 56 volt, 10 amp hour lithium battery. It is advertised to get you 70 minutes of runtime on speed mode one, 60 minutes on mode two, and 45 minutes on turbo. The mower is compatible with all other Ego 56 volt batteries, although they do suggest using the 10 amp hour or the 12 amp hour batteries for peak performance. The battery comes with a five year warranty if you register it. It costs $499 by itself and it is model number BA5600T. This 700 watt turbocharger will charge up this battery all the way in 60 minutes and it costs $179 by itself. There are LED indicator lights on top of the charger and the battery that will show you the status of your charge. All right, let's go over what's new with this year's Aluminum Ego 22 inch model compared to last year's Speed IQ model. So we'll start with just the obvious thing. First of all, this new aluminum model has the heavier cast aluminum deck uh, and it's 22 inches wide compared to last year's which has the plastic deck and is 21 inches wide. Now I'm gonna stand these up to show you something else I notice. And as I'm doing this, another difference that you'll see here is that the side rails on the aluminum model are not collapsible or retractable, however you wanna say it. It's one solid piece where on last year's model, you actually have this clip in the middle and you can retract the side rails to make it store a little smaller. So let me stand these up and then I'm gonna show you something else. So as you can see, the Speed IQ model definitely folds up more compact than the aluminum deck model. Um, the other big thing I'm noticing underneath here is there's a lot more nooks and crannies and holes underneath the deck on the Speed IQ model. That makes it harder to clean. And in my opinion, it's gonna make it not mulch as well. Now on the aluminum deck model, you can see it's very nice and smooth underneath there. I think that's gonna help it mulch better. Not to mention it's a heavier deck and that's gonna make it ride smoother and not be quite as bouncy as the plastic model. The next big difference is with the controls and how it operates. So on the Speed IQ model, obviously you have this display screen here. Then you have the Speed IQ controls. So you literally just put your hand on the uh, handlebars and you just walk and it tries to match your speed uh, and you don't have to press any button to make the self propel work. Now the problem with that is that it was pretty herky jerky and not a very enjoyable experience when you're mowing. Now with the aluminum deck model this year, they went back to their tried and true um, touch drive method. So you just set your speed with the middle knob here, then you press down the button uh, for the touch drive and it goes. You also notice that the digital display got a lot more simplified. Um, it's just a series of LED lights that shows you what's going on as opposed to that digital screen. Another difference last year, they called the speeds eco mode, normal and turbo. And it looks like on this year's model, we're just calling them speed one, two and turbo. 
hopefully this simplified display also means less things that can go wrong in the long term. And you can also connect this mower with Bluetooth. Um, with the Speed IQ, you could connect the battery and charger to Bluetooth, but with the new model, you can actually connect your charger and battery to the app, and you can also connect the mower to the app. The next difference is power. This new model has 3,350 RPMs and 11.1 foot-pounds of torque compared to last year's model that was 8.3 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I put this model through some tests with long grass, and it had no problems at all. So to jump up to 11.1 foot-pounds of torque, I'm really excited to see what this model can do with some long grass testing. Another difference is how you adjust the cutting height. So on the Speed IQ model, you just have one lever and that adjusts the whole mower. Where on the new aluminum model, you actually have an adjuster on the back and the front and that's gonna give you a little bit more accurate of a measurement for your cutting height. These height adjusters, I could see people arguing either side for, I think, the one lever system on last year's model is more convenient, but I think these adjusters on the back and the front are gonna give you a more accurate height. Another difference is what these two models come with. So the new model and the old model both come with a grass bag. The difference is the grass bag on the aluminum deck model, the grass bag is bigger. It holds two and a half bushels of grass compared to the old model that holds two bushels. So you're gonna to have to empty the bag less on the new model. Now the aluminum model comes with a mulching blade installed as well as that top blade that's always installed, part of that select cut system. And it comes with an extra mulching blade and it comes with the mulching plug. The old model actually came with three different types of cutting blades. First you had that top blade that was always installed. Then it actually came with a mulching blade, a high lift bagging blade, and then it came with an extended runtime blade. The old model also came with um, a mulching plug and a rear discharge chute. So if you are somebody that likes to discharge grass, that's gonna be a con for you with the new mower, is that it does not come with the rear discharge chute. You can get one separately, but it doesn't come with it. Me personally, I really only mulch. Occasionally, if my grass gets a little out of uh, control, I might bag it, but I don't really use rear discharge chute a lot, so it's not an issue for me. A couple more differences. This year's model comes with a 10 amp battery and the lever that you push to release the battery is a little bit different. You press that in, battery releases. And one thing I noticed is that the connectors are actually covered in here. And I think that's gonna make that last longer. But the battery is a little bit smaller. 10 amp hour compared to the 12 amp hour last year's came with. So you get the 12 amp hour with the Speed IQ. Releases a little bit differently. Um, other difference is that the connectors are exposed. I think that will shorten their lifespan a little bit. Both have the transparent window on the door that snaps shut so you can see the meter to see how much life you have left on the battery. Um, the window on the newer model is bigger though. And another difference is the wheel sizes. So on the Speed IQ model you have the smaller wheels in front and the bigger nine inch wheels in the back. And on the new model, you have the bigger nine inch wheels on the back and front. So we'll see what kind of difference that makes when cutting grass. All right, let's get to cutting. We've got this 10 amp hour battery charged all the way up and we're gonna throw it in here and I will time this on my phone. I will pause it when I move the camera and we're just gonna start in the front and do a cross cut like we normally do. Then we'll work our way around the sides and into the backyard and we'll just see how far we can get we're going to cut on speed mode 2. It's supposed to cut for 60 minutes on speed mode 2, so we'll see how long it lasts. Let's get to it. So 
So I'm gonna go over a couple things with you while I'm showing this battery test. First of all, this is just a much more enjoyable Mo than with the Speed IQ. You just set your variable speed anywhere from 0.9 up to 3.1 miles per hour. Then you just hit the touch drive button and you're just walking behind it. It's not like the Speed IQ where it's kind of taking you along for the ride and it's all herky jerky. With this, you're just setting that pace at whatever you want and you're just chilling, walking behind it casually, getting your steps in. You can definitely feel the weight of it and the heaviness of the deck. It feels more like a gas mower. Um, it's definitely not cheap at 1200 bucks, uh, but this is kind of like the luxury of self-propelled mowers. So I cut my front yard twice doing that cross cut like I normally do. Then I did the one side of my yard. Now here I'm doing the other side and then I'm moving on to the back and I'm just gonna go as long as it'll last here in the backyard. So as far as the settings go, I'm cutting this on deck height six, which is three inches. And again, I've got that on speed mode two. And another thing to consider is that I'm mulching this whole time. Um, honestly, that's gonna make the mower work harder. It's not like side discharging where I'm just cutting the blades once and then spitting them out. This is swirling those blades around under the deck multiple times and cutting those multiple times. So uh, you could definitely get more rug time just side discharging. All right, so that is where the battery died and I will show you where we're at on the phone. We are at 50 minutes and 16 seconds. The advertised run time for speed mode two is 60 minutes, but keep in mind that's with ideal cutting conditions. Conditions can play a big part in how long a battery lasts, meaning how long the grass is, how wet it is, how much you are cutting off. That advertised run time is typically for an average maintenance cut, which is when you are cutting about a third of the blade off. I've even seen some companies, their advertised run time is for when you're cutting an inch off of the grass blades. And in this case, some of this grass in the back I had not cut yet this year. And I'll show you right here. Some of this grass is up to seven, eight, nine inches, and I'm cutting it down to three inches. So definitely not doing a typical maintenance cut. It did fall short of the advertised run time, but I was definitely putting it to work. All right, now let's fast forward to the long grass test about a week or two later after a bunch of rain. All right, now for the fun part, let's get to the long grass test. So as you can see, I've been letting this grass grow back here. I haven't cut this back here once yet this year. I've been maintaining the top part of my yard up here, but the bottom half I've been letting go just for this test so we could have some fun. So what I'm gonna do is set the mower at cutting height seven, which would be three and a half inches. We're gonna set it all the way up to turbo, of course which will give us that 11.1 uh, foot-pounds of torque and that top blade speed. Then we'll see what we can do against this long grass. So to give you an idea how long some of this is, some of this is up around uh, 15, 16 inches. So we're gonna give this mower a workout and we'll see how she does. Um, we're gonna start out mulching, then we'll do a little bagging. Real quick before I start actually cutting here, I'm gonna show you how the blades sound on each of the three speed levels. Speed one. Two, turbo, top blade speed there of 3,350 RPM and you can really hear those blades humming. That is generating some serious speed. Another thing you can hear there is that high pitch whine of that self-propelled motor, and it is not the most pleasant sound in the world. Now, I will say that this video is sped up and it makes it sound even worse, um, but normally I'm cutting grass with noise canceling headphones on, listening to music, so I, I really don't notice this a whole lot. Um, but watching this video back, it's pretty annoying. But I'll tell you what's not annoying, and that's the power of this machine. It is impressive. It's going through this long grass like it's nothing, and it is fun to use.
right, there you go. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty impressed for one pass. Got a few stragglers in here, but you're gonna have that. It's gonna lay down on you some when the grass is over a foot long. Some of it's 16 inches long, so looks pretty darn good. It would look even better if I cross cut it. I normally don't worry about that in the backyard. I do it in the front, but not back here. But didn't even come close to bogging down once. Hardly even had to rev up at all. You could definitely tell it's got 11.1 foot pounds of torque, so pretty impressive. Now let's do a couple stripes bagging. I don't normally bag, but I'll show it just for the people that do. There are the rows I just cut with the bag on and in case you're wondering how much charge it has after all that long grass it is still at three bars so hopefully this video helped you out if you're shopping for mowers ego definitely has some cheaper options this one is their premium top-of-the-line model especially if you want something rugged and it has that lifetime warranty on the deck so I'll put a link to the mower under the video if you want to check it out. And if this video did help you out, please hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.